Greetings, fellow adventurers, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another exciting video, where we'll be shedding light on Samsung Galaxy Note 3. The Samsung Galaxy Note 3 is an Android Fabult smartphone produced by Samsung Electronics as part of the Samsung Galaxy Note series. The Galaxy Note 3 was unveiled on September 4, 2013, with its worldwide release beginning later in the month. Serving as a successor to the Galaxy Note 2, the Note 3 was designed to have a lighter, more upscale design than previous iterations of the Galaxy Note series with a plastic leather backing and faux metallic bezel, and to expand upon the stylus and multitasking-oriented functionality in its software like includes a new Pi menu opened through the button on the stylus for quick access to pen-enabled apps, along with pop-up apps and expanded multi-window functionality. It additionally features new sensors, a USB 3 port, 3GB of RAM, and its video camera has been upgraded to ERP IC resolution and double frame rate of 60 at ERP, placing it among the earliest smartphones to be equipped with any of these. The Galaxy Note 3 is the only smartphone in its series to be equipped with temperature and humidity sensors and a touchscreen able to detect a floating finger, all of which were first featured on the Galaxy's released earlier that year. Samsung sold 5 million units of the Galaxy Note 3 within its first month of sale and broke 10 million units sales in just two months. Prepare yourself for an in-depth analysis of design in this section. The Galaxy Note's design was intended to carry a more upscale, premium look in comparison to previous Samsung devices. Although it carries a similarly polycarbonate-oriented design to other recent Samsung devices, the Galaxy Note 3 has a faux metallic bezel and a rear cover made of plastic leather with faux stitching. With a thickness of 8.3m, it is slightly thinner than the Galaxy Note 2, and is slightly lighter. The speaker is placed at the bottom instead of the back, while placed on the rear side on the Note 1, 2 and 4. In comparison to the back side speaker of the Note 1, Note 2 and Note 4, the Galaxy Note 3 was first made available in black, white and pink. In December 2013, Samsung introduced three new color schemes for select markets, black with gold colored trim, white with rose gold colored trim and red with silver colored trim. Let's now enter the realm of display and discover the fascinating stories it has to tell. The display of the Galaxy Note 3 is a 5.7 inch up Super AMOLED display, which is 0.2 inches larger than the 5.5 inch display of the Galaxy Note 2 and a resolution upgraded from the Note's up display. As we transition, Let's shed light on storage and its relevance to our ongoing exploration. The device includes 3GB of RAM for the first time in a mobile phone, and internal storage options of 16GB, 32GB and 64GB. The Galaxy Note 3 is also the first smartphone to include support for USB 3, which enables faster data transfers and charging when connected to a compatible port. Brace yourselves for the next chapter where we'll be dissecting battery. The battery size of the Galaxy Note 3 is 3200 mAh, which is 200 mAh higher than its predecessor. On the unpacked keynote of the Galaxy Note 3, Samsung has claimed significant improvements over the Galaxy Note's battery runtime due to increased efficiency, such as for hours of additional video playback time. As we embark on the next leg of our journey, let's unpack the layers of chipsets and connectivity and examine its core elements. The LTE version sold in the European Union and North America of the Galaxy Note 3 uses a 2.3 quad-core Snapdragon 800 chip, while the GSM-only model known sold outside aforementioned regions uses an octa-core Exynos 5420 consisting of four 1.9s Cortexa cores and four 1.3s Cortexa cores. Testing has shown similar performance for both models. Galaxy Note 3 Dusen is based on the LTE variant but adds an additional second SIM card slot. Turning our focus to sensors, let's explore its key elements. The Galaxy Note 3 is equipped with the common sensors accelerometer, gyroscope, digital compass, front-facing proximity sensor and a barometer sensor. 
In addition, it has a sensor for the air hand gestures, quick glance, air jump, air browse and air call accept and a whole sensor for detecting the closure of the S-View cover accessory. As the only Samsung flagship mobile phone next to the Galaxy S, it is equipped with thermometer and hygrometer sensors, mainly used by the Samsung South Health app and some third-party weather station software. For detecting the floating finger for edu functionality, the Galaxy Note 3 is equipped with an additional self-capacitive touchscreen layer. Now, let's shift our focus to camera and embark on an intellectual exploration of its various dimensions. The Galaxy Note 3 is equipped with a 13-megapixel rear-facing camera capable of filming video footage in ICBAP resolution at 30 frames per second capped at 5 minutes per video and in ERP at 60 frames per second. Slow motion video footage is recorded at ERP at 120 frames per second, but without audio track. The pre-installed video player software benefits from the raised video resolution as it allows zooming in during playback, frame-by-frame -frame navigation while paused, and extracting frames as standalone photographs. Only the Snapdragon variant can record in IC. The Exynos variant supports recording at up to up only. Like the Galaxies, released half a year earlier, the rear camera of the Note 3 uses the Sony Exmo RS IMSA image sensor. The camera software and user interface resembles that of this as well. The Note 3 is the first Samsung mobile phone and one of the first mobile phones to support ERP video recording, ERP at 60 frames per second compared to 30 frames and ERP at 120 frames per second. The front camera has an aperture of 2.4 and uses the same image sensor as the Galaxy's, a Samsung CMOS, and similarly captures both photos and videos at up to 0.1 megapixels, the latter at 30 frames per second. Without wasting any more time, let's jump into the fascinating world of S Pen. As with other Galaxy Note series devices, the Galaxy Note 3 ships within South Pen Stylus, which has been updated to use a more symmetrical shape. Like on the predecessor, the WACOM digitizer is able to distinguish between 1020 for pressure sensitivity levels. Removing the stylus from its compartment or pressing its button whilst hovering over the display activates the new Air Command Pi menu which provides shortcuts to pen-oriented features such as action memos on screen sticky notes that use handwriting recognition to detect their contents and provide relevant actions such as looking up addresses on Google Maps and dialing phone numbers screen write and annotation tool and window which allows users to draw pop-up windows to run certain apps inside the search tool South Finder and Scrapbook which allows storing and categorizing image and text excerpts from various apps. The multi-window functionality has also been updated with expanded app support, the ability to run multiple instances of a single app and the ability to drag and drop content between apps. The device also ships with a news aggregator app known as My Magazine, accessible by swiping up from the bottom of the screen, and an updated version of South Note. The Galaxy Note 3 is the first mobile phone with the ability to open a supported range of applications into floating pop-up windows. By default, however, the feature is only accessible using the so-called Air Command menu opened using the button on the stylus. The stylus allows accessing Samsung AirView, which shows a preview of content when hovered above it, including albums in Samsung's precluded gallery software, SMS messages, speed dial contact information, text boxes such as a browser's URL bar and a preview bubble from the seek bar of the Samsung video player as also known from the desktop websites of YouTube and Dailymotion. The South Pen can also be used for scrolling by hovering it to the upper or lower edge of the screen, and hovering above folders on the home screen does expand the icons. The Galaxy Note 3 is the only mobile phone in the Samsung Galaxy Note series to support a view with both the stylus and floating fingers. In this section, we'll be exploring S-View Cover. The S-View Cover accessory is a horizontal flip case with a preview window through which the Android status bar with battery and signal indicators and notification icons, a clock, and the number of unread messages and missed calls can be seen. 
there are also interfaces for answering incoming calls and snooze or stop a ringing alarm clock, music playback controls, title and artist name, album cover and playlist browser, the ability to create action memos, digital post-it notes, weather information, South Health step counter if activated, and a basic photo camera interface with the ability to browse recent photos. The size of the preview window has doubled compared to it on the Galaxy's, the earliest Samsung device to feature such accessory. Features listed above since music playback controls have been added. The accessory is attached replacing the default rear cover rather than covering it, and is detected through pins on its inner side rather than a whole sensor used on the Galaxy's. The spotlight now falls on general as we delve deeper into its details. The Galaxy Note 3 comes with Android 4.3 Jelly Bean and Samsung's proprietary Touchwise Natru 2.5 user interface and software. Additional pen-oriented features have been added to the Note software. The Galaxy Note 3 has inherited the interaction functionality of the Galaxies, such as EdView, eGestures, Samsung Smart Screen and on-screen motion gestures. The split-screen view is able to run select applications twice, and allows dragging and dropping items in between. The Samsung Group Play software introduced on the Galaxies has been extended by the ability to play back video across up to four Galaxy Note 3 units which form a larger screen surface together. Due to the large screen size of the device, a new feature that allows simulating a smaller screen size for single-handed operation has been added. An FTP client feature has been added to the precluded My Files file manager, and the search feature has been added to the system settings. In addition to the camera functionality of the Galaxies from earlier that year, a spherical panorama and a golf mode feature were added. Spherical panorama, which is referred to in the software as Photosphere, merges pictures captured in all directions from a point, and golf mode captures golf swings for forward and reverse playback. A subsequent software update inherited the virtual tour feature from the 2014 Galaxies, which can create room tours with a map which tracks the direction. As we embark on the next leg of our journey, let's unpack the layers of Android Kikit update and examine its core elements. On January 13, 2014, an update to Android Kikit was first made available through Samsung Kais in Poland for LTE models. The update adds user interface tweaks such as a camera shortcut on the corner of the lock screen, options for setting default launcher and text messaging applications, support for printing, and a new location settings menu for tracking and controlling the use of location tracking by apps. 4.4 also makes significant changes to the handling of secondary storage on the device for security reasons. Applications access to the SD card is now restricted to designated app-specific directories only, while full access to internal primary storage is still allowed. Although this behavior has existed by default since Android 3 Honeycomb, Ohms such as Samsung previously modified their distributions of Android to retain the previous behavior allowing applications to have unlimited access to SD card contents. The update inherited functionality from the Galaxies, including spherical panorama and virtual tour in the camera software, download booster and Samsung Kids mode. As we enter this new phase, let's analyze Android 5 Lollipop update from different angles and evaluate its significance. Samsung began rolling out an update to Android 5 Lollipop in December 2014. Changes visibly affected the user interface, replacing Touchwise Nature UX 2.5 with 4. In this section, we'll be exploring release. Samsung first teased the unveiling of the Galaxy Note 3 with its announcement of a Samsung Heavy Packed event on September 4, 2013 at IFA Berlin which contained the tagline Note the Date. The International Galaxy Note 3 was released on September 25, 2013 in over 140 countries, while its US and Japanese releases were released in October 2013. All Galaxy Notes will also include a free one-year subscription to Evernote Premium. 
The American, European, and Indian models of the Galaxy Note 3 implement a regional lockout system in certain regions, requiring that the SIM card used on a European and North American model be from a carrier in that region. While a Samsung spokesperson claimed that the lock would be removed once a valid SIM card is used, it was reported by users that this was not the case. Although an XDA developer's user developed a tool to clear the carrier blacklist that the system uses, it requires that the phone be rooted. A spokesperson claimed that the system was primarily intended to prevent grey market reselling, although some critics suspected that carriers may have asked Samsung to implement the feature in order to force users to roam while travelling by preventing them from using a local SIM card. Samsung also stated that it implemented a similar policy on Galaxy South 3, Note 2, and Mini models manufactured after July 2013. The Note 3 variants Exynos and Snapdragon can be easily routed with Turchm and have custom ROMs installed. However, the SM has to be changed to a developer version in order to use Tup FlashFire, and the AT model can only be used with FlashFire. Prepare yourself for an in-depth analysis of reception in this section. The Verge complemented the incremental improvements to the Galaxy Note's hardware and software, considering it to be the company's best attempt yet at making touch input optional on a mobile device. Its overall design was considered to be cohesive and well thought out despite Samsung's continuing use of plastic, and subtle changes such as a symmetrically shaped stylus were also noted. However, the My Magazine app was panned for being attacked on gimmick. Tecrida considered the Galaxy Note 3 to be an evolution in comparison to its predecessor including its faster hardware and bigger screen, but criticized the device's design for not looking as slick and premium in real life as it did during the promotional video. Some notes had quality control issues. After using it for a short period of time, some users found that the home button on the phone was loose and began to shift. Some images uploaded by affected users shows that the home button would shift up, down, left, or right when pressing the home button on their Note 3 after only three hours of use. In a poll conducted by Android Police, there were 2,017 Note 3 users complaining that their home button was affected, but only 1150 users did not encounter this problem. I appreciate your time and I'm grateful for every like, comment, and share.